Haverfield Aviation has opened a division called Haverfield Saw. An aerial saw is a 10 bladed, two foot diameter carbide tip blades that's suspended by aluminum tubing in sections from the helicopter to about 120 feet underneath the helicopter. The specially designed saw is suspended from the helicopter with carbide bit blades and it slowly trims the branches and limbs and they fall safely to the ground increasing the distance required by NERC standards. Tree cutting is unique in that the utilities are defined by government regulation to maintain a right of way, which is the distance between those lines and the tree line. And it's very important that a utility has a reliability that maintains that corridor. Haverfield performs right-of-way maintenance with uh, aerial saw to trim the sides of the right-of-way. It's called side trimming. And we also have a topper saw that will cut the tops off of trees. We ferry the aircraft to the job site. Uh, we like to get there the day before. The pilot does a recon uh, of the line to look for any obstacles or hazards that may interfere with the aerial saw cutting. The saw takes about a good hour to put together. It's on a trailer. We roll it off the trailer. Uh, we assemble the tubing in, from the saw to the helicopter. And then the blades are put on. And uh, everything is tested prior to the start of work. So if you find any little bugs or anything, we have a day to you know, work it out. And we're ready for the customer the next day. We want to be as uh, efficient and uh, productive as possible as soon as we get on, on the job site with the customer. pilot takes the first pass and uh, actually canters the saw at a certain angle to take the top of the canopy off of the tree, which allows him to see down in for the second and third pass if needed for the third pass. And what that does, uh, by taking the part of the canopy off the tree, any regrowth that comes out as uh, the years start, you know, the next year, the limbs will start sprouting out. Traditionally, the way pruning is done, they leave part of the canopy on, so the new growth goes out and seeks the light and will grow towards the line. The aerial saw, because we take a portion of the canopy off, the regrowth grows straight up. You get about 10 to 12 years before they ever have to retrim the right of way because of that lateral growth. It's quicker and faster than what traditional ground crews can do. And it's used a lot in the mountainous terrain, swampy areas, environmentally sensitive areas. Uh, it's amazing when I'm out there with the ground crews and the foresters, especially utilities that have never used a saw and are using it for the first time. Just recently we had uh, an area where we cut and it was about three quarters of a mile, took them about 20 minutes to a half hour to go through the area with the aerial saw. And the remark the ground person made was, we'd have still been throwing our ropes up into the first tree. And we had already been there and had completed that area. So they quickly see and equated in time 
What we do in 20 minutes to a half hour might take them three or four days to do. Mountainous terrain where you cannot get equipment in a Haverfield can bring in the aerial saw and the terrain means nothing to the helicopter and aerial saw. And in environmentally sensitive areas, a lot of times uh, using the aerial saw reduces the need for them to get permitting from the environmentalists. So we can go in there and side trim those areas and not leave a footprint on the ground. We have our own saw shop facility. We build our own saws. Everything is done in-house. That way we can control the quality, the uh, reliability of the machines, on and on. When we designed the saw, we employed Penn State University's engineering department to do a study on the saw for weight reduction, serviceability out in the field. Mainly we wanted to make it a plug and play piece of equipment that, uh, you know, when something breaks, there's not a lot of downtime. And they did a six month study and gave us a report. And from that report, we continually designed the saw to make it more efficient. do this because it's the most cost-effective method, most efficient method, and the cost savings ultimately gets returned back to the right now. The speed and efficiency of Haverfield's helicopter and aerial saw is second to none. 